wow, we really are in some wonderful times. A lot of things happening in the spirit and in the natural realm right now. I wanted to talk to you about a specific thread that the Lord's been dealing with me about because I've been watching a lot of blessings happening to uh, many of you, to CK and I, people that locally here that uh, are part of our ministry. And God has really shown himself strong. Some extraordinary miracles, good times uh, of deliverance. Uh, so God is proving himself. And I know even in a national scale, I mean, you know, the United States is economically is going through a robust period of time. So that helps all of us. Uh, but in line with that, there's another side. And I want to talk to you a little bit about some of the judgment or manifestations that are happening. Let me put it in the wording that I felt that the Spirit of God gave to me in prayer over the last couple of days. He said, the enemy is unveiling his agenda. He is tipping his hand and raising his head. Now, to me, what that meant is that we are going to be experiencing a time of the devil getting a comeuppance. I mean, you know, it's being uh, the veil being pulled back and him being exposed. And when the Lord spoke that to me about he's tipping his hand, he's emboldened about some things right now. And he's pushing it to a point to where he's exposing himself, tipping his hand. Those of you that are card players understand that analogy. And he's raising his head. He's not just the snake that's slithering through the grass, but he's poking his head up. Well, when he does that and he looks around, again, he's being exposed. We're seeing these things happen. The Lord went on and said, sometimes demonic strategies are broken in the spiritual realm before they are ever able to manifest openly. Now those are great times of great victories that we have as prayer warriors where we just pray in the spirit and we're able to uh, discern demonic entities and strategies and things that the enemy is doing. We pull down strongholds. Those things never really manifest in the natural realm the way that they're attempting to. But the Lord went on. He said, other times, they, those demonic strategies need to be broken, or excuse me, brought into the open before their power and influence can be broken. And he said, this is one of those times. Those demonic strategies have pushed and pushed to the point that they're beginning to manifest and in the manifestation is the opportunity for the church of the Lord Jesus Christ to break their power and for them to publicly be exposed and broken. He said a false sense of security emboldens the demonic to take bigger risks, thus exposing themselves. They they expose themselves because they push it. They think, oh man, we're getting away with it, you know? And there's this, this, this demonic, this negative synergy that begins to excite them and they push. You can see those things around you with certain people, uh, the way that sin begins to manifest, but also on the national scene. In fact, I'm going to camp mostly on the national scene tonight because that's what I really think that the Lord is saying to us. That on the national scene, that there's a false sense of security that's emboldened those spirits of Antichrist that are influencing and motivating a lot of people that are involved in Washington, D.C. in politics. And uh, they've been pushing. The spirit of Antichrist, realize, I'm talking about the demonic spirit of Antichrist's will for America. Anything that is Antichrist is anti, anti his church, anti his will, anti his purpose, anti his word, anti prayer, anti everything that God represents. We see so much of that happening with the secularism, the atheism, agnosticism, 
uh, you know, with the ruling political spirit of Jezebel that's in the land, the entire thing about that beast system and influence that's coming in, manifesting in many different forms in uh, socialism and, and all of the things that are encapsulated, you know, in their doctrine. It's a church. It really is. It's a religion. Uh, it's spawned by the enemy himself from the pit of hell, and it is anti-Christ, anti-God's word entirely. Those things are being exposed and brought down. That's the important thing for us to see. He said that when they take bigger risks and they expose themselves, that this is required for many good people to finally perceive the danger and then to rise up against it. The Lord says that there are many good people and they, uh, there are many good Christians that just don't see the threat. They haven't seen it. And they've tried to be moral and good people and just, uh, you know, stand back and not really get involved in things. But this is drawing them in. In some ways, it kind of reminds me of how the United States tried to stay out of World War II and eventually was sucked into it. Um, and good people, and he said good people, that a lot of them aren't even really Christians, but they're good people because of the effect of Christianity and morals of the Word of God that has influenced their lives in the past. They have a basic moral structure that knows right from wrong. Uh, they just haven't given their lives to Jesus yet. But then there's also a lot of people who are saved, genuinely saved, but they're waking up. And that's one of the things that the Lord said is happening now. This is required for many good people to finally perceive the danger and then to rise up against it. So there's a lot of things that are going to be exposed now. Remember a couple of weeks ago when I had the vision of the eagles, how they were rising in the west, flying to the east, uh, carrying those demonic things in their talons and dropping them into the Atlantic Ocean. But as they flew over the Capitol, the Lord said that the 2020 election belongs to the eagles. Okay, Eagles, prayer warriors, prophetic warriors. And uh, so, man, we have our job cut out for us, but we also have the promise of God. We can do it. We are the most viable force, spiritual force on the face of this planet and in the United States. And we are going to see it. So, But the Lord then, toward the end of that vision, he said that September 1 is the beginnings of harvest. And I saw the doves rise up. And they were bearing evangelism and soul winning on their wings as they followed the same general path across America from the west to the east. But he said, the beginnings of harvest. Um, the Lord spoke to CK prophetically and told her that the next 120 days from September 1st on uh, to watch during that time, I believe, that one of the things that we're going to see in these next 120 days is a lot of judgment coming against the enemy. What am I talking about? I'm sharing with you how in John 16, 11, that Jesus himself said that the ruler, the prince of this world, is already judged. It was judged by Jesus. Jesus defeated him. Jesus <clears throat> stripped him of his power and paraded him, it says in the book of Colossians, as a vanquished foe in the spiritual realm without his weaponry and control. And so he has been paralyzed. Now, it doesn't say that he was removed from the earth. He is still here. He still influences people. He still drags people to hell that don't accept Jesus. He still operates in the spiritual realm. Here's the point. Jesus has already judged him and what his consequences are. Then Jesus left this earth, his resurrection. He went back to heaven, seated at the right hand of the throne of God. 
sent the Holy Spirit and gave us the church according to Matthew 16 verses 18 and 19 the church the ecclesia of God the the called out assembly of God he gave us the authority to enforce that judgment that's what binding and loosing are about that's what the prayer of faith is all about we are enforcing that so as we pray for our nation as we pray for President Trump as we bind Jezebel and spirit of Antichrist pray everything that the Holy Spirit directs us to pray on in our individual prayer lives then what happens is we are enforcing, we enforce that in two ways. Number one, it pulls down strongholds. It breaks spiritual power. Remember, Jesus himself told the disciples, all of us included, because it was the 70. It wasn't just the 12 apostles. Uh, it was believers. When they came back and say, said to him, even the demons are subject to us through your name. Thank God for the name of Jesus, the power is in the name of Jesus. The authority is in the name of Jesus. But that authority and that power was purchased by the blood of Jesus. So the name and the blood, the enemy cannot stand against. And he told them that, behold, I saw Satan fall like lightning. And he said, behold, I give unto you authority over all the power of the enemy. You'll tread on serpents and scorpions, and nothing shall by any means hurt you. Serpents and scorpions, talking about demonic entities, those things that inflict pain and torment. We have authority over their power because we enforce the judgment, binding things up in the spiritual realm, disallowing, disqualifying, declaring them illegal in the spiritual realm is enforcing the judgment. Releasing the kingdom of God and all good and godly things, all the promises that he has given to us, that if we will pray, even in the United States, that his purposes for this nation will be upheld. Loosing those things is part of the enforcing. So we are enforcers of heaven itself. That's why our part of what Jesus even meant when he said, the works that I do and greater works than these you shall do because I go to my Father. Well, it also includes binding and loosing, doing the works of heaven. Now, here's one of the main points that I'm going after is that the blessings of God and actually enforcing what Jesus' blood has purchased for us also has an element of judgment. If you lead somebody to the Lord Jesus Christ, if they get saved, then spiritual death is judged in their life. The control of Satan over them is judged and is broken and they come into the kingdom. When you lay hands on somebody and pray the prayer of faith for healing, and God touches them and heals their body, sickness is judged. And healing is released. There's binding, there's loosing that's happening at that particular time. That's the kind of judgment that I'm referring to. So as we are praying and enforcing God's will for America, then he is binding, or we are binding those demonic spirits and those antichrist purposes coming against the kingdom of God, coming against the church, the ecclesia of the Lord Jesus Christ. Remember, the authority has been given to us to enforce. As we do that, then the blessings are released, God's purposes are maintained, but it in and of itself brings judgment against those 
opposing forces. And so the judgment as it's working and the blessings and the spiritual course corrections for our nation and the protection over President Trump and his administration, all of that then allows the enemy's tactics to be exposed. And there are a number of people that are going to fall. This is what the Lord told me. It's not just confined to the 120-day period, but it started September 1st. And you're going to watch it manifest. You're going to watch it play out. He said some leaders are going to fall during this time of enforced judgment. Enforced judgment. Okay? Now when he said some leaders, I could tell that what he was talking about is in politics, but also in the media, um, in other forms of leadership, such as in Hollywood or banking industries, other areas, but also in the church. It, there's kind of like this parallelism that's happening now where this exposing of the enemy and his work in influencing people against Christ. That's going to be enforced. And so people are going to be exposed. But here, listen, here's wisdom. This is what the Lord really, you know, prophetically, yes, I'm saying as, uh, as foreknowledge that these things are going to be happening and increasing. The time is now. But here's the caution that the Lord gave me. He said, don't focus on the figureheads themselves who may fall or who don't fall. You may think that somebody should fall and they don't. Or you're surprised at somebody who does. He said, that's not the point. He said, don't concentrate or focus on why some do and others don't. He said, focus on the damage being inflicted to the Antichrist system. Know that you are, as a prayer warrior, as ecclesia, as enforcers, are making great inroads in pulling down that Antichrist system. And again, for those of you that may be new, I'm not talking about Book of Revelation, the Antichrist, or a manifestation of a person. At that point, remember that John himself said that the spirit of Antichrist is already in the world. I'm talking about that. Anything that opposes God, Antichrist's will, purposes. Antichrist's kingdom. Okay. And so he said know that we're inflicting damage, that our enforcing is working. Now, also, that's, that's a good form of encouragement for you, and also for those of you that may even live in other countries. You are having the same kind of effect in your nation, whether you're able to see it as drastically as we are or not. But here's the thing. During this time, the blessings of God always are connected with the judgment. The blessings come through. It's not just that a judgment or something there, somebody's exposed and somebody falls or, you know, it comes to the light and people say, oh, that's wicked and that was wrong and we finally see. It's replaced. There's a blessing. There is a change that comes. And those changes bring about God's purposes which become very beneficial to our lives. There's going to be a, a lot of anointing that's happening during this period for miracles, for healings, for demonic deliverances, for financial prosperity. Enjoy those things in your life. Look for them. Okay? Remember, I'll just say this one more time, the blessing of enforcement manifests 
God's promises in our lives and they bring judgment on that which has been withholding them. I'm looking for good things to happen and bring judgment, not only in America, but also judgment against those things the enemy has been using against you. We bind them in judgment and we loose the blessings of God. Praise God. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for every single person out there watching this video at this point. I pray that the anointing of the Spirit of God would rise up on the inside of them and they would catch that in their spirits, the power and authority of enforcing, and that they have the ability to bind and loose in bringing about the purposes of God, enforcing what Jesus Christ himself and his shed blood has purchased for them and what his purposes are for this nation and for revival. Remember everything that I talk about when it comes to uh, the United States or any form of politics or anything. It's not about politics. It's about revival and spiritual awakening. But those things are real situations they're natural dynamics that have to be addressed as the revival and everything comes through. And if you save a nation, it'll change a nation. Praise God. It'll change everything. That's what we're praying for. Lord God, Lord God, bring revival. Lord God, save the lost. In the name of Jesus Christ. And right now I pray release of the Holy Spirit's power for enforcement. Revelation anointing. Hallelujah. Upon your life. Hallelujah. God bless you. If you haven't already subscribed to our YouTube page, then please go ahead and do so right now. Our channel. Hit the notification bell so that you are notified every time we do a new video. And... In the link below, you'll find our website. Click on it, go there and look. And while you're looking, go to our secure donation page and become a partner, a partner of the ministry, a partner of the anointing and the revelation that is upon this ministry because we're going to go forward together and we're going to ride on the wings of the Spirit and the power of God. Woo! I just felt something I'm going to ask you. Do you, can you, in your heart, see President Trump at his inauguration in two years? If you can see him at his victory party after the election and he's reelected, if you can see him in the inauguration... Put that into your heart and pray from there over the next, what, year and some odd months. God bless you all.